Uh, Adam Career Gerald. And uh, how long have you lived here? I've lived in Putnam County all my life. And where do you live right now? What town? I live in Scott Depot. And what have your last 24 hours been like? For, for me, it's been fine. It hasn't been an inconvenience uh, because I have Putnam. Uh, but, you know, I, I've tried to find people that, you know, whether they needed a hot shower, they needed to fill up water, you know, trying to find somebody that needed something. Uh, you know, I had water to give. Uh, so it really hasn't affected me a whole lot, other than the fact, you know, the office is on American. So, you know, you have to bring in your own bottled water or, or whatnot, and, you know, wash your hands out of a, you know, big jug. But other than that, you know, it really hasn't affected my life the way it has to other people. Um, but other than that, it really hasn't affected it. And what do you think um, about the more like the bigger ramifications of all of this? It, it's one of those things that it's so multifaceted, it's hard to tell whose fault it is. You know, you don't know whether it's freedom's fault, uh, whether they were trying to put too much chemical in a tank and, and it caused a rupture, whether they were using older equipment. Uh, you don't know if it's Americans' fault because them getting in over their heads and thinking that they could fix a problem when they really couldn't. And then finding, and then you know, not notifying the public. I hope it doesn't hurt Cole. Um, it probably will in, in some facet. Um, so you're a proponent of coal. To an, ex to an extent, I think it can be done responsibly, and that's the big thing. I, I think you know, as, as West Virginia moves forward, we can't lose track of our heritage. But at the same time, we need to we need to do it in such a manner that it does protect the environment. Mm -hmm. And do um, you think coal is a big part of our cultural heritage here? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. Um, Can you say that in a statement and just like? Okay. Yeah, coal coal is definitely a big part of our heritage. Uh, it's hard to meet somebody who doesn't have an uncle that was a miner, or is a miner, a brother that's a miner, a grandfather, uh, or somebody tied to the industry in, in, in some facet. Uh, so it, it definitely is a part. I mean, you look at the state rotunda and there's a coal mine on it. Uh, it is a part of our heritage. And do you feel like um, coal, the coal industry has been attacked in any media that you've seen as a result of this? No, not necessarily the coal industry. Uh, I did look at an article online about it, and, and there were some people that were attacking the coal industry. I think it's more people placing blame on freedom mm -hmm. uh, for, for their actions, not coal itself. Uh, you know, and I, in a way, I think that's a good thing. You know, the people that are responsible for it are, you know, getting attacked, not uh, who they work for. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello, hey, sweetheart. <laughs> um, so, is there anything that you would like people to know that you don't think is has been as big of a story as you would like, or hasn't been a story at all? I can't really say. I can't really say that it hasn't been as big of a story as people make it out to me because I'm sitting on the side of the fence where I have water. You know, I don't live in downtown Charleston. I don't live in uh, an area. That, that has really been affected. You know, I was lucky that that you know I had water. <laughs> to somebody that has lost their water and probably won't have water for the next week or so or however long, it probably needs to be a big story. Uh, but but for me, it's it's not that big of a deal uh, because it doesn't affect affect me as much. Uh, but it is kind of in a way, it's kind of like the big storm we had a couple of years ago, where you can't go anywhere without somebody mentioning. It. Uh, that seems to be anything and everything people want to talk about. Now, are you proud of your heritage as a West Virginian? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm very proud of my heritage as a West Virginian. Um, you know, I had a grandfather that was a miner. Um, one of my uncles was an underground foreman. Um, another one worked in the prep plant while he went to UC. He ended up leaving the mining industry. Um, I had great grandparents that were miners, so I'm very proud of that heritage. Uh, you know, and I feel lucky that I'm able, because of their sacrifices, to spin around in a you know office chair and work in air conditioning every day. And is there anything that you want people to know about West Virginians? 
I, I really, the, the one thing that disturbs me after looking at some of the, the online articles that were written, whether it's from NBC, ABC, you know, CNN, any of the major news outlets, is you look through the comments and a lot of people, for whatever reason, still have the stereotype that, that West Virginians are just backwoods hillbillies and inbred, and it's really not true. You know, I've I've always thought that West Virginia's been, and it still is, the America's greatest kept secret. Uh, you know, people are friendly, uh, we're honest, hardworking. We just, in ways, have gotten short in the stick, and we're living with it, and we're trying to make a better state for ourselves. And do you think as a younger person that you're contributing to that? Yeah, I definitely do. You know, I've had a lot of friends that are very talented, uh, very skilled uh, professionals leave the state for better opportunities. It just breaks my heart. Um, it'd be great to see those people get the kind of opportunities that they could get in Louisville or Pittsburgh or Charlotte, in Charleston, in Huntington, uh, you know, Fairmont, Clarksburg, Morgantown and still be able to stay in the state, contribute to the state, help, and help grow the state. Uh, it just really breaks my heart. I hate seeing that.